My name is Tony Silva and I want to talk about DNA sexing a chick from the egg. Why do we want to do this? Well, we may, we may want to rear that chick to be a future breeder, which means we'll spend less time uh, with it. We don't want to imprint it. Or we may want to make it into a future pet and therefore we want to imprint it. Where would differences occur? Let's say it's a species that has a preponderance for males. We would want to use the males for pets and retain the females for breeding or vice versa. The process is quite simple. There is genetic material inside an egg. There's blood, there's fecal matter, there's all of that material. So what we want to do is we want to take a Q-tip, uh, moisten in distilled water. We want to make sure that all the instruments are sterile. And then we want to just dab in the blood. There's dried blood there and we'll be collecting it on the tip of the Q-tip. We then transfer that to a sexing card and we submit that um, to, to uh, a laboratory for uh, sexing. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna repeat this process repeatedly and we're gonna transfer genetic material. It's a process that takes a little bit longer when the egg is dry. It's much, much faster when um, the egg uh, is fresh, when the chick just hatched. That's all for now.